Qatar's Emir sends his condolences as dozens are killed in a tragic bus crash in Morocco. Qatar Central Bank approves a buy now, pay later system. 100,000 students could soon receive support by Qatar Charities' latest initiative. And finally, could Kylian Mbappe be benched for PSG's League One opener at the weekend? Stick around to find out. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has sent his condolences to Morocco after a horrific bus crash killed at least 24 people. The crash occurred on Sunday after a minibus heading to a weekly market was overturned while carrying passengers. Authorities are now probing the incident, one of Morocco's deadliest accidents in recent years. Now, Qatar Central Bank has officially approved the use of the Buy Now, Pay Later service for companies in the Gulf state. The central bank has requested companies to submit applications for a license to adopt the new method of purchasing start from September. The central bank said the payment method not only allows customers to indulge in their desired purchases without straining their budget, but it also provides multiple benefits like easy budgeting and planning future payments. Check out our website to see how consumers and companies in the country have responded to the move. In other news, Qatar Charity has introduced a new initiative called Education Makes It Possible that promises to support 100,000 students both locally and internationally. The project will benefit students from 38 countries, some of which include Yemen, Sri Lanka, Palestine, Somalia, and more. For more on how this campaign will lift financial burdens for the students, head over to our website. And finally, the transfer merry-go-round with Paris Saint-Germain and Kylian Mbappé looks likely to continue. Mbappé missed PSG's preseason tour of Japan and South Korea, and now reports say the Frenchman could be benched as the club kicks off the League One season. Mbappé is currently training with PSG's so-called undesirable squad, a squad of players who are not seen as part of the first team picture. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.